Yeah, I don't understand. Like that day when, like when the cop was acting that way, I was like, I don't understand why they was acting like you did something wrong. They look at me with a little bit of color on my skin, I guess. Yeah, that was that was wild. I was like, yo, you acting like he did something wrong when, when you trying to tell you what this dude was doing. Yep, I agree. I, I that dude blew my mind. Because <laughs> because because he low, low he low key threatened you. He did. He told me to yeah. get on back on yeah. right now. I saw. I caught that. Jail. Yeah, so I caught why? that. I'm like, for why? You, why? For for what exactly did you do wrong? Instead of trying to instead of trying to help you with what you're doing, telling me you have no right. Man, I ain't got no right, bro. And the funny thing is, that dude work with kids. He's a dare officer in the town too. Oh shit, like, bro, you work with kids, so you should be more on it with me but there was a girl cop there too and she was actually she had my back a little bit but that dude was just straight on officer dickhead yeah i caught that i was like damn what's his problem yeah but, but i like how y'all catch people like i just like i like the 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 way y'all just run up on people and then you just like relentless like y'all y'all don't just let them go and that's my favorite. My favorite is the first look when you make that first eye contact with them and be like, <laughs> hey, Joe. They be like, oh, shit. I fucking love that. I love it. That, yo, that dude, the, my favorite one still is that the one with the dude, the, the married dude that you guys had out in the parking lot and shit. Was it the Spanish one? I think the one where you say, oh, you got a ring on your finger too. Yeah, that was the Spanish one. Yo, that, that one was crazy. hilarious to me. I'm sorry, because he just, he knew, like, when he, by the time he left, you knew, like, he knew your life was over. Actually, he was actually in the church. Um, he was in the, a real big in church and all that. I had the um, pastor from his church reach out to me. Yeah. Uh, well, like, I, trying I, to defend him? Huh? Like, they was trying to defend him? Nah, nah. They were just telling me they appreciate what I do. Oh, okay, okay. I've had, um... I had dudes' girlfriends hit me up, babies' moms. I've had um, another dude's girlfriend just hit me up today, crying. I felt bad as fuck, but I'm like, I'm sorry, but I gotta, I gotta expose these men. And I'm like, I feel like you should know. And the girl actually had a daughter. And yeah, you don't want that, that in the house. Me, and the one she called me today, he came to meet a 14 year old, and some of the shit he was saying in the chat log was just disgusting. And I'm like, you know. I'm sorry, you got to go through this, and you know, and and like I, I and I try to tell my viewers like just don't go out and don't reach out to none of these people, man, and harass them or none of that, man. Just let me do what I got to do, cause then if you do that, it kind of works in their favor. They can get me for harassment and blah blah blah. So that's why I'm like, just let me do my job, man. Unless I ask you guys to do something for me, just let me do what I do. Nah, uh, that's true though, because it's it's doing more good and at the end of the day it's gonna do more good because you're, you're saving kids that you know for these people especially the ones who are in who go home to kids at home who knows who knows what they're doing at home with the kids in their house agree agreed and my saying is with this whole shit is if i can save one child's life with my own i feel like i'm doing my job man for real no nah, i hear you on that because it's, it's it's not enough people that's really doing it like that no more because like I said, Chris Hansen was the one that we, that was the shit at, at one point. But like after that shit stopped, you don't really hear much about it no more. Like it was good to see that on like a national, you know, level. But now you don't really see it on TV like that. Nah, you don't. And like, hopefully like that was good to have it on a platform. You guys need to be on a bigger platform because this type of shit needs to be like more more exposed. I agree, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. I believe it should be another. Uh, another Chris Hansen, and that's why we just we we pushing, we we building, we making a lot of branches in all states. Shit, before you know it, we'll have a branch in all fifty states. Like we trying, man, we trying to push. It's the movement right now. Yeah, that, that's 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 the real like that's that's what what people need to learn from though is like if they see you doing it, then maybe it's gonna like make other people speak up if they see or know some shit. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times shit be going on with kids being abused and, and like people just just like don't say nothing like they, they want to mind their business or whatever like we might all know somebody who's in a situation or some shit and people be keeping their mouth closed 
that's that that's that brings me to another thing. Another thing is basically I've had people reach out to me and they seen some of the, the predators I caught right and they said telling me stories of what them predators did to them oh, shit. and how these videos gave them the courage to come forward and be able to talk and try to convict them what they've done to them. So that even gives me more motivation to do what I do. When people message me and just tell me their stories, man, it just makes me just want to get out there and do it more. Yeah, because like making a girl, difference. That's making a difference. You're actually doing something that matters. In the beginning, she used to be like, damn, bro, you all you do is you just be on your phone trying to catch these predators, man. That's all you do. Like, I ain't even going to lie. In the beginning, I was hooked, bro. <laughs> as I couldn't stop. Once I caught my first one, I was like, this shit, this is a wrap. I'm getting all these motherfuckers. <laughs> is, it still the, is it still the same, though? Like, is it like, a, like an addiction? It, it, it honestly is, bro. <laughs> my cousin just told me again today. Because I'm like, bro, I'm fucking nice with this shit now. I know exactly <laughs> what to say to them. I know how to get them. And now I even be on the phone with them, talking to them, throwing a little voice on for them. And that's how we actually got this dude, the last dude today. Yeah. I'm like, Wait, so I you actually talk to him? Hell yeah. But oh, I can't shit. record the conversation because in the state of Massachusetts, it's two consent. Right. So, But I, I, what I do is I'll give him my number. Because mm. I try to get them off the app and right. get their number so I even have their phone number, which is more evidence. Right. So uh, the dude today, you can, on the app that I use, one of the apps, you can send voice messages. So we, I got desperate, so I told my cousin, I said, bro, give me the phone. I'm sending that nigga a voice message, and I guarantee oh, you oh, he's going to call for it. I sent him that voice message. Excuse me. He didn't hit back right away. My cousin's like, damn, fuck it. We've been on for like an hour and a half. So he's like, fuck, we just gonna, I'm going to drop you off. So he's pulling my driveway. As soon as I pull in my driveway, he's like, you guys still, I mean, you still at the restaurant? I'm like, bow, fuck it. Went right back and sure as shit, we got him. Yeah, that's crazy. But that's a, that's a good, like, it's, 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 what you're doing is a good thing, though, because. Like like we said before, like the Chris Hansen shit, all that shit is not around no more. So like, it kind of seems like that's not in the forefront, but it's still happening. Yeah, like nobody's really is. talking about child predators no more, like like they were at one point. But it's happening. Obviously, as many people as you caught in a short period of time, obviously it's a problem. Yeah, and and the thing is, basically, what I it's and that's why there's a lot of people that honestly watch YouTube. So that's why it's a good thing yeah. even on YouTube, using YouTube as a platform. But I post everything on, I be on, I post my shit on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat. I post my shit everywhere. I try to get these dudes exposed and faces out there and as much platforms as I can, man. Now that, that's, that's exactly, that's what you need to do though, because you're doing the right thing. And that way you're saving the more the more exposure that you 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 um give to these people, or well, the more you put them out there, the more you have a chance of saving somebody else. Yes, I agree. And honestly, once you catch them and expose them like this, they do next time when it's another teenage or or, or a young minor that hits them up or, right. or they hit up because we don't even message them first. They message me first because right. that's another thing. You can't message them you have to let them message you i always tell them i'm a virgin i never talk about sex i let them do all of that so that's what makes it even more difficult you know because it's not like if i could just send them a dick pic this that bro i'll catch i'll catch a million of these motherfuckers right but you got to do it so you can try to get these motherfuckers convicted so no nah, yeah. either way whatever you gotta do obviously it's working I, I, it's been working. Man. That's crazy. That's why you say, hey, if, what is it? If it don't, I forgot the same, bro. <laughs> oh, my, my mind went blank, bro. But if it, what is it? If it ain't broke, yeah. If, if it, it ain't broke, broke don't, don't fix it. Fix, don't there fix you it. Go. That's what I was looking for. What, so what I do? Let me see that on me. But yeah, man. So where, so where can, just, I just want you to remind everybody, because you already said it, but remind everybody how how to find you on all on all social media. 
Um, if you want to find my videos, my videos are on YouTube. The name of the YouTube channel is Predator Poachers Massachusetts. My Instagram is Predator underscore Poachers Massachusetts. And that's basically where you can find me. All right. I want I want to um especially if you yo if you ever get a hit on somebody from out this way yeah, you gotta let me know man. Nah, I will. I got if I got this is your number, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely. definitely hit me, hit me up anytime. The one that um let you know about me, where's he from? He's um he he lives in Westfield. Oh, all right. So is that by you? Yeah, it's about he's about thirty minutes from me. Alright, yeah, because what I do is basically what I do, I try to get some once this virus goes, because I just type in the area code is, of where I want to catch these dudes at, right? And then boom, because the app, one of the the app I use, it basically it, it gives me to people that like around around my five mile radius, oh, okay. mile radius. Sometimes it goes out because the two guys I caught today, one of them drove almost forty miles, and the Jeez. other one was thirty miles, so. They be coming from all over. Yeah, so they like they, said, they motherfucking serious. They they tra- you traveling like that? Yeah, you said they serious. And then my to be honest, my I think it was my yeah my second catch. That's the one that really blew me up, man. He got and I think it was my in two days. He had um already I think almost thirty thousand views, mm. and he was a basketball coach oh, and a shit. teacher. So, bro. <laughs> That shit went shit. crazy. Um, and next thing you know, I went my YouTube. I started it a month ago. I had seven subscribers, man. I'm about to hit twenty six hundred. So, yeah, no, nah, that's that's just gonna keep it's gonna keep growing because everybody this type of shit people people like like to see a person doing what you're doing. So it's like that's gonna words gonna spread the same way. I just found out about you a couple of days ago, and I subscribed. Yeah, it is, man. That's what I, I tell everyone. I be, I be looking at my shit every day, and every day I gain at least a hundred, a hundred and fifty a day. Like it's just, it's crazy. It's amazing to me, man. Because I always wanted to do YouTube, and I'm like, I never really knew what kind of content to do. I found something I love right, doing. Right. Exactly, because there's a lot of dumb shit on YouTube. There is, and that shit is crazy. View some of the dumbest shit. Yeah. Begins. Stupid views, like what the hell? Exactly. So it's like, why not? Why not do something with a with a purpose and shit? Yep. 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 So yeah, definitely. You got you got you got my number. Any time you can hit me. Any time. Keep you know keep in touch. Let me you know. Keep me up to date with shit. You know. Yeah, nah, definitely will, man. You do the same. Keep in touch, man. And I wouldn't. What do you What do you do your podcast right out your crib, right? Out yeah. House? Yeah. Yeah, so maybe I could come out there what weekend. Nah, no doubt. Get a telly, get some catches, join you on your podcast live. Nah, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm sure, I'm sure there's a couple of sick fucks in our neighborhood too. Unfortunately, oh, I'm sure there are. I'm, I'm more than 100% sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. I'm more than enough. You said more than 100% sure. Yep. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So stay, stay in touch. Definitely will, one hundred percent, man. And I appreciate you guys for uh, putting me on your podcast. Nah, we appreciate what you're doing out there because you're actually doing some some real shit. I actually had a. Uh, we actually went and uh, talked to a newspaper dude that uh, does a newspaper for the college out here. And after doing the interview with him, tell me why a week later we called a college student from the same college Damn. going to school to uh, I hope they put that in the paper. I, I, I messaged him too. I was like, bro, I caught one from your school. That's crazy. He told me he was going to uh, give it to the editor and shit. So see what happens. Right, right. But yeah, yeah. definitely hit, hit, hit me up anytime and shit. I'm, I'm going to definitely stay in touch with you and figure out what's going on with you. You know, I'm going to stay following you. Like I said, I subscribe and I already told a few people that I fuck with about it so they can go check you out and shit. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. And um, like when um next time you send me send me your link to your um your thing again. I'll do podcast, it. Please. I'll send it, I'll send it to you as soon as I hang up. 
I bet. No doubt. I bet. Definitely do that. And I'll plug it in, too, and put it in. Um, I'll actually probably leave this video up, son, and, and I, I'll put your podcast in it and stuff. So. No, I appreciate that. No doubt. Oh, man. I appreciate y'all talking to me, man. No doubt. All right. Well, I'm going to end this, man. Y'all have a good night. Blessings to all, man. Anybody listening to, man, stay corona-free. Right. Be safe out no there. No doubt. You too. All right, man. All right, Respect. Geez.